Hi there. Now for this part of the question then, we were asked to find the exact value for the area S under this curve C and give the answer in the form A over B plus the natural log of C where A and B and C were integers. And you can see the answer turns out to be exactly then minus 26 27 plus the natural log of 27. And to do this, get this answer then, all we need to do is integrate y with respect to x between the limits then x equals 1 and x equals 3. So when it comes to this first term here, what I've done is it's a typical integration by parts integral. So I've pulled out a third out the front here, out the front of this bracket here, okay, the curly bracket. And I'm assuming you're familiar with integration by parts, okay? What we do in questions where we've got a natural log function, let that be your u part, okay? And the x squared here becomes dv dx. So according to the formula, then it's going to be the u part, okay, natural log of x, multiplied by the integral of the other part. This is v, so if we integrate x squared with respect to x, you get x cubed over 3. And then it's minus the integral of what we've just integrated, x cubed over 3, that's the v part here, and then it's multiplied by the differential of this part, differential of natural log of x is 1 over x, and we integrate this with respect to x. So then I've gone on to integrate the minus 2x, that's minus 2x squared over 2, and the constant 4 becomes 4x. Next, all I've done here is just switch these two around, okay, so I can do without the brackets then, and then just pulled out the third here and cancelled the x into the x cubed to give me x squared. Tidied up this term here to give minus x squared and then plus 4x. Next, what I've done is I've multiplied through with the third to this term here, giving me x cubed natural log of x over 9. And in this one, if I integrate x squared, that's going to be x cubed over 3. Times it with the third, that's going to be x cubed over 9. And times it with this third here is going to be x cubed over 27. Okay, or 1 27th x cubed. And then we've got the last two terms there. And so it's just a question of substituting 3 through, okay, gives us this, and then subtract what we get when we put 1 through. Remember that the natural log of 1 is 0, so that just leaves us with 3 times the natural log of 3. And I can use the power rule here, becoming natural log of 3 cubed, in other words, the natural log of 27. And then... I've just taken my constants here and in here, and that comes to minus 26 over 27. Personally, I'd prefer to write natural log of 27 minus 26 over 27, purely to lead with a positive term. But it did say, give it in the form A over B plus the natural log of C. Okay, so that's the reason I've given it in that form. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea anyway on that particular part of the question.